covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. After a series of closed alpha tests, Microsoft's Xbox Game Studios and Asobo Studio announced Monday that the next-gen Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 will launch on August 18th. Pre-orders are now live and the game will come in three editions. Standard for $60, Deluxe for $90, and Premium Deluxe for $120, with the more expensive versions featuring more planes and handcrafted international airports. The last part may come as a bit of a surprise, given that Microsoft and Asobo are using assets from Bing Maps and some AI magic on Azure to essentially recreate the Earth in all of its airports. Still, the team must have spent some extra time on making some of these larger airports especially realistic, and today, if you were to buy even one of these larger airports as an add-on for Flight Simulator X or X-Plane, you'd easily be spending $30 or more. The default edition features 20 planes and 30 hand-modeled airports, while the deluxe edition bumps that up to 25 planes and 35 airports, and the high-end version comes with 30 planes and 40 airports. All the airports are still available in the lesser versions, just without the extra detail. Based on what Asobo has shown in its regular updates so far, even the 20 planes in the standard edition have been modeled in far more detail than in previous versions, and maybe even beyond what some add-ons provide today. Because a lot of what Microsoft and Asobo are doing here involves using cloud technology to, for example, stream some of the more detailed scenery to your computer on demand, chances are we'll see regular content updates for these various editions as well, though the details here aren't yet clear. As Flight Simulator 2020 is about to enter its closed beta phase, we can expect to see more details in the coming weeks leading up to the release.